This is just a quick video demonstrating how to use a webhook response in make. So previously I had made a video showing how to use your CRM or your invoice system within smart suite to produce a invoice within something like QuickBooks or wave accounting or zero or something along those lines. And within the button that is clicked to generate that invoice, it opens up a new tab and it just says accepted. So thanks to one of our viewers, I have watched a lot of different videos and noticed people did the same process as what I had done previously. They just closed out the accepted tab. However, our, one of our viewers, Brandy Bullock had mentioned to use a webhook response, and I'm going to show you how to go ahead and use that. Welcome to our channel. My name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business processes and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, please visit our website below to book a free console. So what it will do once the webhook has been accepted, instead of opening up a new tab, what it's going to do is open up a new tab with the URL to the invoice or wherever the location you want the tab to open up to, you can enter that in dynamic. So what you do in your make scenario at the very end, you can add a new module webhook and it's going to be this webhook response you're going to change the status code to 307 we're going to click the show advanced settings we're going to add a custom header the key is just going to be location and the value is wherever your target is or whatever web page you want to open so in this case we are just going to search for the url and i just want the view url inserted here so a webhook response at the end, status code 307, location, and your dynamic URL here. So I'm going to select OK. I'll save it. And now I will click run once. And so you can see I have no invoices in draft or unpaid yet within Wave County. Again, going to be the same thing with QuickBooks, Zero, whatever accounting software you use. I'll go into my invoice system or my CRM. Here I have the invoice with the data I want to pass. So I'll just click create invoice and it used to open up an accepted window here, but now it's going to open up directly to that dynamic URL that I passed to it using the URL response. So that's pretty sweet. I didn't realize this beforehand. So just an extra little thing that you can add to your scenarios. Thank you, Brandy. And uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this one.